Losing my V-card was a lot like my first football game. I was all beaten and bruised at the end, but at least my dad came. Alright guys, blow in the tower as hard as you can, Simon, go. Oh. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> And you can tell your dad that the Picatinny on his M4 A1 carbine isn't going to be the only rail left in his house when I'm done with him, because when it comes to wet work, I don't leave any man behind. I've never been in the military, but so much of it's been in me. I think there's camera guys for gay porn that are straight that just have to film like. <sighs> Can I get some more light on his asshole, please? Somebody told me they thought that was homophobic, and I was like, I don't think you could be a camera guy for gay porn and be homophobic. But then I was like, that'd be kind of funny if he was just like, this is wrong. <laughs> so can I get some more light on his asshole? Please? Have you been drinking today, man? My name is Connor, and I am a registered reverend according to www.becomeagloryholyman.com <laughs> Which, for the record, is a very different site than becomeagloryholyman. <laughs> Full disclosure, I'm registered on both. Both are great services. <laughs> different, but when私今東京にいるんだけど、あの、昨日日本の友達とマックに行ってきたのね。で、私オーダーするとき、え、ハンバーガーとバニラアイスクリームお願いしますって言ったのね。で、私の友達私に、はお前カナダ人じゃないのな
and that he is very flattered and he understands how I feel. But ultimately, he's straight and he likes girls. And I'm left mortified. Sobbing on the streets, I'm crying, I'm in front of a jack-in-the-box. It was probably raining. <laughs> and you would think after this moment between me and him, I would move on and not have a crush on another straight boy again. Wrong. Guys, why is it even called Thanksgiving? Because you thank someone and then you give them something. Oh, watch this. Thanks, Rich. What? I thanked him, then gave him something. What did you give him? A boner. What? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Italian. Meat. Ham. Cheese and toasted. No. Anything else? Olives. Anything else? Lettuce. Anything else? Cucumber. Anything else? Peppers. Anything else? Pickles. Anything else? Onions. Anything else? No. That'll be 13. Wait. Mustard. Anything else? You. <gasps> Ramirez, why'd you join the army? Wait, shit. Was I was in Home Depot working, but <laughs> they told me it's like when I get the green card, I you need to join to the army. So that's why I'm here right now. Y'all can meet him and shit. Come on, come on, boy, don't be shy. Come on, man. Come on. It's alright, bro. Show you. Sean, yeah, we out here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just not sure that it's working out, and to be honest, I've been talking to Levi, and he's got a really big horse. No, I and get it. Some really good crops too. I get it. Trust me, I get it. I just don't think we're compatible um, anymore. Before I forget, I bet Levi would really like to see that special trick you do. Special trick? You know. The one with the flying broomstick? Broomstick? It's a broomstick. Yeah. It's almost like it's magic. It's magic. Henry, what are you talking about? Something that a witch would do? Someone say witch? Witch? witch. A witch? He's making this yeah. up. This never happened. I think we found one, boys. Yeah. Henry? That makes your head move? Uh, let's see if this works. You feel? Oh, oh my. Oh! Do do do, raindrops keep falling on my head. But that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. I'm done with the conversation now. Sit back down. I'm done with the conversation now. So you have no cooking experience? No, I'm sorry. Fam, but... It's cool, because neither do we. We just be feeding folks whatever. <laughs> uh, can you fight? You know, don't even worry about it. You got the job, man. Congratulations. But I have to let you know, now that you locked in and you have the job, you have to fight that guy across the street that works at Popeye's. His name is John John, and apparently he got a metal plate in his jaw, but he's undefeated. Last time we got an altercation with him, he put my legs behind my ear and rolled me down the street like a Looney Tunes character. So I quit. It's up to you now. Good luck. Listen, you do be looking like a snack, but you have to stop eating snacks. On God, I mean, your LDL is looking pretty sus, so I'm going to give you some atorvastatin, um, and, and that shit really does slap. Uh, listen, introduce some vegetables into your diet, and I think that'll be a major dub for you. Hello, today we are going on the internet. I'd rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life. Oh, fuck. Blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same I'm, fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Regra básica pro bom convívio masculino. O cara tá nesse mictório aqui, você vai lá no último pra ficar mais distante possível, tá ligado? Ele tá lá no primeiro. 
eu jurava que ele tava no primeiro, mas mesmo assim, ainda tá distante. Você fica aqui, tá ligado? É o cara... Oh, you already finished eating. Perfect. Yeah. Do you want, like, dessert? Do you have dessert? I can give you a kiss. I'll take a kiss. I'd like a kiss? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. You too. It's my demonstration of my first time experiencing roadhead. <laughs> okay, fellas, ready for this? <laughs> Gay, bota um. Até bota um. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm, ai caramba, let me get them digits, girl. Hey, yo, what's good? Ah! Oh, mamma mia. Here we go! That was better. Yeah. Do you want party tonight? Do you want we're drink something? We're Muslim. Stop Muslim. We're both Muslim brothers. No party for us. No party. Oh, okay. Have, Have a good, a good night. night. Have a Take good night. Assalamu alaikum. And we're gay too. Fucking wank is at it again. Mum, do you want to smell some smelling salt? Do a little sniff. Just a fucking bastard. Why have you got that anyway? It's for the gym. I thought you use that to relax your ass. Hey, hey, yo, I don't mean to bother you, but do you think you could, uh, do you think you could touch my hand? Okay. I just want to tell my friends I've been touched by an angel. Aww. It even did the Look, hair. look, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, when I get that shit done, look. <laughs> don't play with me with my hand. Look. Mm. Mm. Oh. Said you got a boyfriend. What they gotta do with me. Honestly, we probably started making out with each other, but whenever the girls didn't make out with us back because the, the girls are that's their job, right? So they don't they don't they don't kiss you back. Well you shouldn't try and kiss random people though, like strangers and stuff. Yeah. But like me and the homie, yeah, we would make out sometimes just because of the fact that like you know, it's just a boys thing, you know what I mean? Like just what the boys do, you know. It's like it's not gay because like we're just with the boys and stuff, right? So. You when like kissing the boys and stuff is fine, and like hugging the boys and like slapping their ass and like grabbing their bulge and shit. That's fine. That's all. That's all straight activities. Especially at work, it's even better. Especially when people are watching. Like if people are watching, and then then they're you know then they're a witness to a uh, non-gay crime. So. Yeah, I always get my ass slapped by by my coworkers all the time I to be honest I kind of like it kind of feels nice why am I talking about this I'm not gay guys a man is being birthed today who is it oh, it's got little eyes oh, it's dope man oh, oh my god he's good. excuse me sir are you gay um, yes, I am. How would you describe men in New York City in three words? Oh, this is a good one. I would say the men in the city are complicated, horny, and bad at communicating. What do you mean by bad at communicating? Can I have the mic for this? Yeah. Okay. Listen up. The men in New York like to text you, and then you text them back, and then they never text you again. So, that's what I mean by bad at communicating. Bad Don't do this. Bad texters. Bad texters. What is that? Champions League trophy. I won it. For what? In Barcelona. Duh, for playing soccer. 
What's the red dot on it for them? Indian pattern. Oh, this is this is how the Indian people get the mark on their forehead. You just go, ding, and then now they're ready. Ding, 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 how would you survive prison? I'd be locked up and c***ed up, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I am not a tough guy. The only way I'd survive is by being someone's boy toy. I'd be walking around holding people's pockets like, yes, daddy, it's the only words I would know. <laughs> I'd be handing out this booty like it's candy. Who dropped the soap? Me. Hey, boys, the hot sign is on. Come on in. It's time to crispy this cream. Is your name Thomas? Because feel free to run a train through this tunnel. Oh, I'm here to make friends. I I'm, I'm scared of being shanked, Jared. No. I don't want to tussle. Feel free to fill me up with that blow the belt button muscle baby boys that's oh all i'm saying god Just know that i would go out <laughs> to not be shanked heaven and hell on the one hand of course i want eternal happiness on the other i want to be where all the cuties are <laughs> the idea that all gay people go to hell really all gay people do i need to rsvp or like <laughs> if the whole thing is that it's too hot and too crowded and there are too many gay people it's like yeah babe i've been to a party in brooklyn <laughs> No, because this is so true and i think i speak for almost like all hispanic people growing up at least girls like your mom would be like careful with your closet or like your uncle or this male figure is coming home cover up and it's like they're my family they shouldn't be having to cover up why are you scared of them why shouldn't i be by myself with my cousins if they're my family but then suddenly someone is gay and it's the end of the world and it's like i couldn't look at them the same but you can't deal with having to tell your daughter to cover up because your brother is coming home? Oh yeah? Yeah, because that's kind of like what the like, Smashing Pumpkins would play, right? Like, like one of these. Yeah, like one of the mm -hmm. Siamese dreams yeah. and they actually brought in. Press down. Pretty hard, yeah. but what's more important is you get it right in the right spot. Yeah, you gotta get in there. So you wanna put- Remember my students kissing your homies is not sus. Because it is not gay if his lips are coincidentally in the way. So people in China will wear the product and sell them on live stream. It's a huge market there. But the government banned girls from wearing and selling underwear on live stream because it's kind of inappropriate. So to get around that, they will put guys in those underwear and laundries like this. To be honest, I think that's a much better deal. What do you think? You know we not gay. We got the anti-gay shield going on. I thought that I was gay. So I decided to watch a gay porn, which it's kind of like taking a rapid COVID test for your sexuality. It's not super accurate. You know what I mean? You get the rapid COVID test back, sometimes it's negative, and then you get the PCR back, and they're like, no, you are gay. You're gay. I think going into it, I was prejudiced. I was like, it'll be like lesbian porn. Like, they'll be like loving. That's not what it's like. It, it's mean-spirited, to be honest. The title of the video I watched was Whiny Bitch Boy Can't Pay. And he couldn't. But they made him. He overpaid, to be honest. Gratuity was included on that bill. It was hard to watch. It was two like, big-ass like Joe Rogan gay dudes just wailing on this little twink. And my dick didn't move at all. And I watched the whole thing. What if I just... No, no. 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 Well... No. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> you gotta watch. What if you're gay halfway through? You don't know. I watched the whole thing, and here's what I learned. I don't think I'm gay. But I think it might be possible that I'm homophobic. <laughs> Not that I don't like gay people or I hate them. I mean, literally. I was afraid that what was happening to the small guy could happen to me. That's why I, I always carry cash now. I don't care where I'm at. This whiny bitch boy pays. You're not catching me not paying. I was dating a girl, she had nipple rings, dude. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. I've never been more sure that that man is gay in my entire life. 
<laughs> you know why? Because it wasn't the O, it was the fact that he was like, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that, is some, that is some gay instinct to go, oh, oh, mm. Are you gay? Are you gay? Of course. <laughs> gay lingo. Hell yeah, man. That's great. Well, you're, ba you're a bear too, huh? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. All right. You don't like to label it. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. What would I be? Okay. I don't like labels either anymore. <laughs> he was so quick to say twink. He's like, I don't like labels. You're a f***ing twink, though, dude. You're 100% a twink. Well, thank you. Apparently, Alex is into something called iglooing, which for all you fellow clueless souls means that he likes to freeze his poo in condoms and then use it like a dildo. Jesus fucking Christ on a bike. He uses his own poo to shag his ass. Yeah. I've too much going on right now to deal with this shit. No pun intended. <laughs> How does he get it out of the toilet into the condom? I don't know! He poos it straight into the condom. <laughs> I don't know. He poos it into the condom. He does. Say that again, Mom. Pekinch powder. <laughs> Why are you laughing, you nasty one? Just because this small mistake I make? Go to the mirror and check the big mistake that I made. Mama! Ha ha ha! Like when I was 24, I was like, oh, Brussels sprouts are disgusting. I'll never eat Brussels sprouts for the rest of my life. And now that I'm 38, I'm like, oh, all it needed was balsamic vinaigrette. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it? Oh, you put fucking bacon and goat cheese on it? I'll put it in my ass. Like, I don't give a shit. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. I'll suck a dick. I don't care. Dude. I'll fucking suck a dick. You want Brussels sprouts with goat cheese? Pull your dick out. I'll suck it. <laughs> Fucking good. I'm 38, so I can suck a mean dick. I've never done it, but I know. I'm confident I could. I've seen how it's done, and I know how I like it. So, I'm just saying, if, if there was like a Squid Game show, and they're like, whoever sucks the best dick survives, I'm surviving, so. Can you check your pockets? I think you stole my heart. You kidnap a lot? First time. No way. You could never tell. Seriously, I mean it. You could never tell. I'm okay right now, but I will have to pee in like 10 to 20 minutes. If that, or no, yeah, I'll wet myself. Sorry. How much do I owe you for gas? No, I insist. You've been driving for like three hours. Seriously, how much? Or you know what? Just take the wallet. Altoid? Not that you need it. Your breath smells good, but like, do you want? Okay. Do you think we'd be friends if you like weren't going to murder me? Seriously? Like good friends or like acquaintance? Seriously? You forgot to take my phone, by the way. I am due for an upgrade though, if you wanted me to do that first. What's your sign? I freaking knew it. I'm a Libra. That's why we mesh. I knew it. There's an ATM up here on the right if you want me to like pull out some cash for you. Do you have like an aux cord or Bluetooth or anything? Or, or you, yeah, yeah, let's sit in silence. No, silence sounds really good right now. You're so right. No, we're good. Thank you, officer. You're good? Yeah, we're good. Thank you. God, what's his deal? Sorry about that. It's a new day in the workroom and I'm feeling really excited to be here. If I have to lip sync my way to the top, I will. Oh, I'm not going home because I'm the lip sync assassin of the season. Rue chose me to stay here and now there's a fire under my ass. I've only been doing drag for three months. Oh, I don't sew. Girl, it's season 35 of Drag Race and you don't know how to sew? This has never happened in all of Drag Race history. She's my best friend here, but I'll send her home if I have to. Did you uh, fall from heaven? Yes. Because your face is all fucked up. Oh. <laughs> Did you just get your whole hand in your fucking mouth? <laughs> 
He was gonna make himself gag and just found out he, he doesn't have a gag reflex. I, I do, but it's back there. Yeah, dude. Mine is. I'm pathetic. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, we're gonna find this out. Put two in. Put two in. You want me to do it? No. Let me gag you. You don't want to do it. What? <laughs> You're I'll right? shove my fucking finger. I know you will. All right, seriously. Why are you smelling your finger? <laughs> All right, here we go. So if you're like, seriously, every couple years, <laughs> every couple years, I need to test this. Yeah. Well, <laughs> So I'm at the mall buying underwear because you know when you gotta go in the laundry basket because you have no clean pairs left and you're like, oh, I guess this pair is clean, I'll rewear it. Yeah, trying to avoid that. So I go in the Calvin Klein outlet and I come across these jock straps. So I go to pay and the woman behind the counter goes, you know, these are jock straps, right? And I just go, yeah, yeah, I know. And she looks at me again and she goes, I don't get it. Like, so your butt is just out? <laughs> and I just say to her, lady, that's the point. So then she goes, oh, so you use them like when you're working out? And I just go, yeah, 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 working out. And the guy behind the counter working next to her, I'm assuming also a gay, looks at me and goes, mm-hmm, that's right. <laughs> Ready? Who's that? Beep. Who's that guy? Da-da. I can't believe I let this happen to me. I want to put a warning out there that these scams are happening way too often. I did the Christmas lights at this lady's house and... When it was time to get paid, she said she was getting water in her garage and if I could look at it. I told her I have a full-time job and I could only come look at it on nights and weekends. It turned into a big job. I've been working on it on all my spare time to get it done for her. I was getting to the final steps and she says that this post is loose, that if I could look at it as well. Then she makes me replace all the posts and railings. If that wasn't enough, she wanted me to add lights to them. Sunday was my last day and I was finishing up and I asked her if it wasn't too much trouble if she could make me lunch. She said, no, go buy something. I told her I didn't have any money because she didn't pay me yet. She tells me she isn't gonna pay me and was never gonna pay me. She says, since we're married and this is my house too, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm outraged, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, damn it. Sorry. I forgot. I don't care. Mm -hmm. That's a water. What the hell? Hello? 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 Just quick help. Here we go. Hang on. Here we go. So you want that blowjob? Bro, I said <laughs> That was a good shot, All right? I'll go. <laughs> oh, I suck. Oh, and sometimes I swallow. <laughs> Let's get these things off. Hey, and unfortunately, you hear it all the time now. Men can't be strong. Men can't be assertive. Men can't be aggressive. Men can't be dominant. And it's not right. Because if that were true, how come I'm still able to be dominated by a man every Saturday? CVS to pick up butt wipes. And I bring them to the counter. The lady at the register goes, uh, I don't know if you know this, but we now carry cucumber scented butt wipes. And I said, I beg your pardon. And she goes, we now carry cucumber scented butt wipes. Aisle seven. And I said, thank you so much for telling me. Because up until now, I've been wiping with an unscented butt wipe and shoving a cucumber up my ass after. And You just made things more comfortable for me. I mean, what if I don't want to live the way you live? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants this.
was good. You made that? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is good. You can try it if you want. Mmm. Is it good? You ever slept with a man? <laughs> What's overrated when you're in Amsterdam? What overrated? should people not do? Uh, <laughs> go to Anne Frank house. Really? Yeah, yeah, well. Yeah. So it's just a house. It's just a house. And she's not there, you know? <laughs> yeah, she's not. Young gang star for the kill switch. Yeah. Jojo, pose, pose. Damn! Nice ass! Babe, what the hell? Are you gonna say something? What? What do you want me to say? Are you serious right now? Fine, okay. Yo, thanks, bro. I've been hitting squats. Hell yeah, dog. I can tell. Keep that shit up. Hey, appreciate it, homie. Looking thick as fuck. Nah, that's you, bro. Wait, what the fuck? Well, sir, your baby came out at a very healthy 6 pounds, 9 ounces. Nice. Every test you ran indicates that the baby is healthy, but sir, I feel obligated not as a doctor, but as a man to tell you your baby is black. What? The baby. It's uh, it's African American. Fucking cheating white. Well, bitch. sir, sir, no, no. I, I ran a paternity test, and you are the father, so she didn't cheat. How's that possible? Well, actually. Oh God. Am I black? No, sir. Your wife is black. You're just racist. My wife is black. You're not even gonna refute the racist part. You're telling me that I married and had a child with a black. Yeah, man. and it's surprising to me too that anyone would put up with you, considering how bigoted you are. Where is she? I need to speak with her. She's right here. Rachel, how could you not tell me you're black? I'm black. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> I'm a straight guy. Already know where this is going. I'm a straight guy that gets too drunk and already gave BJs to two dudes in our circle of friends. I love how this said already gave two BJs. Like it's like already like he's new to the game and he's like, bro, already I've got I've taken down two of these suckers. I'm coming for the whole fucking circle, but I've already got two, I've got three more to go, and then I've sucked the group. <laughs> This feels like you're competitive about it, dude. But I will say, sucking dudes and being straight, I haven't seen those things kind of like run parallel. You know what I mean? So you, maybe, I don't know. Maybe though, but I just haven't seen that. So I'm just going to say, just take a look at the information again. Just maybe look over it one more time and we'll figure out what's going on. But I could be wrong. For certain, I could be wrong. And good luck, because it sounds like you're competitive and you want to get the whole circle, and I think you will. Alright, here are three things that gays think they can do when they're on prep. Number one is solve world hunger, because now they can feed and breed. Number two is enact world peace, with the simple phrase, it's okay, I'm on prep. And number three is bareback riding. I mean, obviously. The first method is the fork method. Slice your onion in half, jam your fork inside, slice across, then down, then down the other way. Mm. The next method involves hitting your onion firmly with your knife around the outside to loosen up the insides. Slice it open. It's not perfect, but it'll get you most of the way there. You can hack the onion apart. You just need a computer, a standard RCA cable, bypass the mainframe, and... Access granted. You can sneak up behind it and scare it. Ah! <laughs> wow! Alright, if I get this in, you gotta kiss me. Okay.
reason to watch Emily in Pairs is definitely the plot. It's so well written and interesting, unpredictable at the same time. Plot makes you think, what's gonna happen next? Like, what campaign is Emily going to do? Will it be successful? Like, what's the next obstacle she's going to overcome? Will her private life and her personal life interfere all the time? Is she ever going to move back to Chicago? We have other characters like Mindy, for example. Like, will Mindy succeed? Will she make her parents proud? You want a bite? It's a good one, isn't it? She always going to have this beautiful voice. What's the next song that she's gonna perform? Then we have Sylvie. Will she stay successful as she is? What's up with her love life? We have questions about Gabriel. Also questions about Camille. A million questions about Alfie. That's the beauty of this show. The plot just thickens by every episode. So you just have to stay watching. So if you're asking me should you watch Emily in Paris? I'm gonna say yes, definitely watch it, but only and strictly just because of the plot. You can thank me later. Hey babe. Babe, what is that red light above the new building that they're building? I don't see anything. It's a red blinking light. That new building right there? Yeah. I don't... Hang is on. Is it like a helicopter in the distance or something? No, let me turn the light off. I don't I think it's too bright. I don't see anything. <laughs> One of our hens laid a 150 gram egg. It took her all afternoon to lay. Oh. Very easy to crack. This is our reaction when we cracked it open. It was very thin shell. sexually are you more like a top or a bottom like stuff like that i'm glad you asked because i don't think we've liked i don't know man i'm just trying to hook up with some dudes bro like i'm all about that mask shit i prefer guys with a deeper voice than mine and then after i lock them down i can start getting comfortable and start talking like bro like this is so dumb look at this I, i'm taking a piss i can literally see over the you want to come in <laughs> hey what do you ever try anal anal yeah. i'm gay yeah Oh. That's all I try. <laughs> what do you mean? That's, that's, that's the booty, yeah. So why do girls complain that it hurts, but guys, they can take it? Because I'm a real bitch. You ain't gonna meet a real bitch yeah, like me. What's the, what's the biggest you took down there? The biggest what? The biggest pipe you took. Cover your ears. <laughs> Nine inches. Jesus Christ. Excuse me, sir, but what would you do if Michael Myers was right behind you? Michael Myers? Has he been trying to get with his sister for like 40 years? See your license and registration, please. Uh, yeah, just let me. Ah. <laughs> 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 You know when you have chicken nuggets? Yeah. It's made out of chicken. That's a chicken. I used to think that only the people in my life found me annoying. But that was before I discovered Owning Cats. With Owning Cats, you get to literally be the reason why this creature is alive and still have them resent you. Plus, with Owning Cats, you're finally able to have a combination sandbox and toilet in your house. And with Owning Cats, you don't need to worry about taking care of your house plants anymore because your cats will eat them and then conveniently vomit them onto your carpet. Try cats today because it's hard to feel lonely when someone's watching you poo. I don't believe this. If you hit your phone five times, apparently the flash turns on. You know, I'm really not as fast as people say. What's the best job in the world? I think being a teacher is the best job. You can right. like just scold students, ask them to do their homework, and you're getting paid for it. Okay, what's the best job in the world? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I went to a spot with Toby last week. First of all, 
You're spending a lot of time with Toby, and I feel left out. I see you every week, bro. That's for what? You see me for money. If, if, if money? You, if, you, if you ain't getting paid, you must see me every week. Before you come on, do you miss me when I'm not around? <laughs> when it's Wednesday, and you're seeing me tomorrow, do you think, I can't wait to see James? Or do you, do you roll your eyes and say, recording day tomorrow? It depends. Wait, wait, let me answer, let me answer, let me answer. I'm well, asking I, if you no, miss know, me when I'm not around. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> That's joke. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Karen, what did you do with him? <laughs> I can't even say his name. What did you do with him? <laughs> Have you ever been the problem in your relationship? Almost our relationship, I've been the problem, I think. Almost every? Like, uno, dos, cinco, tre, everyone. If I'm looking back at it, I probably played a bigger problem than the other person, yeah. What's the pettiest thing you ever did to someone you loved? I told him he was getting daddy tattooed on his neck in my language, and it was really my name tatted on his neck. This is ghetto! What's the pettiest thing you've done to someone? I haven't done anything petty. Never. You ever set up a whole hookup and never never make it there, purposefully? You say, oh, I'm on, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, and then you just block them? I've done that a couple times, actually. Yeah, that's petty. You guys want to call a shower? What? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Doctor, please help me. I think I'm becoming American. Huh? I went there for a little while and now I have symptoms. Why would you even go there? I don't know. Just please. I, I need help. Okay. How long is a kilometer? <gasps> oh, it's that bad. I don't, I don't know what to do. Okay, it's fine. It's not fine. I'm losing it. You're gonna be alright. I'm getting hot. I, I'm like 104 Fahrenheit. I... What did you just say? I'm 104 Fahrenheit. Oh my... Okay, it's fine. Really? No, I don't think you can be saved anymore. <laughs> So this is my bedroom. Feel free to lay down, make yourself comfortable. I'll be right back. Where? Don't be silly. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Run. No offense, but are you straight or- Yes, I'm straight, honey. Straight. Straight. Hetero. Hetero. Hetero, hetero. <laughs> I'm back. Uh Why do they always leave? Normalize. Cheating on men who deserve to be cheated on. Oh, you thought I was loyal because you gave me a few roses and asked me to be your girlfriend? But then continually gave me bare minimum? No, I'm cheating. And the best part is you'll never even know. Like, it's just something I do for me, like a self-love thing. Have the ultimate weapon, do not mess with me, bugs beware. Beware. <laughs> beware. Don't mess with me, I have a weapon. I have a weapon. Beware. Get it. Get it. Oh my gosh. I have the ultimate weapon. Ultimate weapon. Babe, I just found your ex-boyfriend on Grinder. <laughs> what were you doing on Grinder? they're younger than me they act straightish like i do a normal guy really i'm not like the other gays i'm straightish and normal and i want someone else straightish and normal so we can be straightish and normal together miss girl cut that shit out let's go shopping you want dior you want louis vuitton or you want chanel yalla i'm pretty sure in the middle east people like me get thrown off buildings but when i see the man i'm like mm, yeah i'm down dear diary this is the third time this year I laughed at a Christian Walker joke. Help! What is this creep staring at? Guys, I just think I find a chick on the diet. Sounds only gays can hear.
Are you serious? It's not what it looks right like. Right in front of my salad? Hey, I'm about to leave. I'll see you in like 15. Hey girl, okay, no, I swear I'm leaving in like 15 minutes. I just have to finish douching. Okay, love ya. This is your first time? Oh, don't worry. Yeah, just try to relax. Steve has a kid now, man. He's a father. Very happy for him. One of our mutual friends turned out to be a homophobe. He said to me, he was like, yo, Steve's kid's gonna grow up with two gay dads. He's gonna grow up with two gay dads. Isn't that awful? I'm like, yeah, it should be way more dads. <laughs> Because men on average are only like 25% as good at raising children as women are. So you need like a lot more dads. I mean, like, four gay dads minimum. You want your kid to have a normal upbringing? Yeah. Four gay dads. I'm sorry, raising children is tough. It takes a village, people. This is how we drink tequila in Czech Republic. ¿Te quieres portar cachonda? No es lo que tú crees. Drake, another one who disappointed us, I think. I want to know y'all's thoughts on Drake because we got two albums from him this year. Can I be completely honest with you guys? I look at Drake as a gay rapper. So <laughs> right. Right. now, now, just hear me out. Hear me out, guys. Like, like, I know that he's not. How, that's a wild way to start off a conversation. I know that he's bro. not. Imagine Drake as a bisexual man who does, you know, straight music, and there's like a, an air of gay caution on every track. <laughs> I feel like honestly, never mind was him coming out a little bit more um, in his sauciness. Wait, 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 Shimmy to that song, and I'm like, <laughs> Ooh, it do sound like a little. Like I want to like flip my ponytail uh, back and forth. Ways to break up with your girlfriend, part one. Oompa loompa, do ba dee do. I'm no longer in love with you. Oompa loompa, do ba dee day. Because I recently discovered I might be gay. Single women do not want a man that they know wants them. As soon as you understand that, it becomes simple, because now you can do the opposite. What's the opposite of wanting a woman? Wanting a man? See, that's why this is not gay. Okay, let's focus. Stick to the script there. <laughs> My cousin made the mistake of quitting his job as a taxi driver, and now he's almost homeless. And when I asked him why he did that, he said he'd tell me, but I couldn't tell his wife. So I'm interested at this point. I'm like, yeah, I got you, bro. He said, okay, one night a couple months ago, I picked up this nun and she was hot. He said, I kept staring at her and she noticed this. So she asked me why I kept staring. So he said, I got a question to ask, but I don't want to offend you. And apparently she said, my son, you cannot offend me. When you've been a nun as long as I've been a nun, you hear and see everything. She finished it off by saying, I'm sure there's nothing that you can say that would offend me. So my cousin said, well, I've always fantasized about kissing a nun. And she responded by saying, well, let's see what we can do about that. She said, you have to be single and Catholic. And my cousin got excited. He said, yes, I'm single and Catholic. So the nun said, pull over to this alley. So he did. The nun fulfills my cousin's fantasy, but then my cousin starts crying. So then the nun asked him, why are you crying? He said, forgive me, I lied. You know, to tell you the truth, I'm married and I'm not Catholic. And then the nun said, that's okay. My name's Steven and I'm going to a Halloween party. Dude, can I play with that? This? Yeah. Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> now, here's the thing. It's National Pizza Day. Um, it's February. There's Christmas lights still out. <laughs> yeah, what? I didn't even... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I was so much. God, joke on it, baby. Fuck you, my child is completely fine. I don't think he likes me. He loves you. He just doesn't know how to show it. There they are. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. You remember Jason? Gerald, give the boy a proper hello. No, Gerald. No, Gerald. That's not a proper hello. Jason, get in there. Oh. Look at my two boys. Who wants to say hi to Grandpa? Have you ever seen a wedding entrance like this? It's you. What do you mean? Don't film me. Put no. the phone down. I'm filming so you can see how ridiculous you sound Put right now. Put it down now. Did you have all the milk? Scott. You drink more milk than a baby cow. This is ridiculous. It's my milk. I don't care. I do everything else around here. I all bought I wanted was a nice coffee. I bought it two days ago. I'm sick and tired of you. I don't care. <laughs> you drink it all night long, but this pool was put up for safety. Don't do that either. I'm sick of you. You are ridiculous. You're ridiculous. It's my milk. You drink too much of it. Go up to the... All I wanted was a little bit. <laughs> Do you know how crazy you sound? Get up and go to the shop now. Look at you. Fucking look at you. Put it down. Normalize giving flowers to the bros on Valentine's. I'll go get it later. Later? Go now! It's the only thing you can drink <laughs> to this house. Look Me and I just do everything else. <laughs> I'm lost in the door. You're a nutcase. Don't lock it. Lock it, you nutcase. Look, I swear to God, I am that close. You look really cute right now. He drank all the Best friend broke both of his hands and he needs you to jack him off. He's just so horny, like in tears, like, please, bro, I need you right now. This is my time of need. This is where I need you to be a real friend. I need you to beat my meat for me. Is that gay? You know, I think, you know, there's these gray areas, you know. Uh, pass. Oh, you want to smash? <laughs> oh, smash him? Yeah. Pass you. Kim is a homosexual. Oh, come on, we've all been there, done that. Oh, well, I certainly haven't, and you haven't. Kath, I was in the Navy for six years. Raven, do you love me? Of course, Star. Why do you ask? You say you love me, but you don't kiss me like Robin does. Why is that? Well, Star, that would make us lesbians. I too wish to be lesbians. Vou deixar o chinelo também, tá? Pode deixar. Obrigado, viu? Dá licença. Menina! Afinal, você perdeu essa bala! Ai, eu quero ver quando ele voltar, que ela tá transparente! Ai, me dá um cigarro que eu tô nervosa! Gente, você viu, Sara, o tamanho daquele negócio! Maciel mole, parecia uma linguiça toscana, assim, ó, pro lado! See, this right here is the exact reason why I left the army. Uh, being surrounded by sweaty men in cargo shorts? No thanks. That's why I transferred to the Navy. See, it's much less sus now, being surrounded by boatloads of thick seamen. Did you not pull out in time on Valentine's Day? You need to get Plan B. Plan B. The next step. The best step. 
for your future. Sorry, the people I have sex with can't get pregnant. I'm not offended by homosexuality. In the 60s, I made love to many, many women, often outdoors, in the mud and the rain. And it's possible a man slipped in. Would be no way of knowing. Single women do not want a man that they know wants them. Once you understand that, it becomes simple because you just do the opposite. What is the opposite of wanting a woman? Wanting a man. That's why it's not gay. I see the niggas came by themselves. What's up, fellas? Y'all came dressed up. Y'all looking for the bitches tonight. I know. I can tell. Y'all together? <laughs> I ain't mad, I ain't mad. <laughs> Y'all throwing me the fuck off tonight, God. He said, nah, nigga, this my nigga. <laughs> like, yeah, I know, it's my nigga. No, my nigga. <laughs> well, you know, as kids, we were like, do like weird stuff. Like, oh, give me your balls, you know. What? <laughs> what did you say? Was I absent that day? What are you talking about? That has never happened. Give me your balls. I've never asked my friends for their balls in my life. That's never happened. Like, you know, you're joking around like, oh, sack tab. You know, I, like, I, I remember sack tabbing. Yeah. But I don't remember this, buddy. You know what I'm talking about. Like the... I have a piece of that. No, that's not my type. She's pretty. It's just my type is men. <laughs> it's like, oh, nice butt. You're like, oh, <laughs> what else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick penis, dude. Guys, like, like, you know, like, joke around where they're like, yo, you got a nice ass. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about. I've slapped a man's yes, ass. Yes, 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 yes. But I've never <laughs> said, give me your balls. Right? That's, the point. That's the one I'm harping on right now. I've never been like, yo, give me that sack. I didn't say sack. Right, balls. Who was locked out of their room while an orgy was happening inside? An orgy is like more than... 12 people, right? Well, <laughs> an orgy is more than four people. That is not an orgy. I, I agree. I think it's more than four. No, yeah, four five, some or five, five some or more. Six or seven. You some do that eight, all some the way until some 10. 10. seven. Yes. Some does not roll off the tongue. You do that all the way agree. to agree. Agree. some. An eleven some, and then it's an orgy. Travis, After you're deflecting. That's nutty. I'm not deflecting. I'm telling the truth. More than four. <laughs> then I guess everyone's doing orgies. Travis, you're falling all the apart. Time. You're falling <laughs> apart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you ever had this happen to you before where, uh, you know, you're heterosexual, you're into the opposite sex, but sometimes you meet somebody of the same sex that makes you question it all. Like last night I was at an Italian bar in Little Italy and this dude comes up to me, already the most handsome person I've ever seen in my life. I should preface by saying I'm not gay, I wish I was most of the time, but I'm not, unfortunately. But that said, when I see somebody that handsome, I thumbs up i give him the thumbs up i'm like it's like more of an admiration thing so this dude approaches me i'm already smitten you gorgeous man and he, he's like oh i recognize you if i'm at the gym and i was like you have an accent bro like are you kidding me this isn't fair and so i was talking to him I was like yeah i know him from the gym 92nd street why and he's like yes uh, my name is uh, julio and I was like, this can't, you have to be doing some kind of character. This can't be real. And so me and Julio got to talking. I'm getting all hot and bothered. And, and we're exchanging pleasantries. I ask him what, I do, what he does for work. He's like, I'm a neuroscientologist. And I was like, bro, this is, you got to be catfishing me right now. Like, this has to be some sort of, like, punked version of, like, can we flip a hetero? It's got to be. And I haven't been able to stop thinking about him since. So I don't know if there's like an Italian TikTok, but yo, Julio, get at me. I'm actually getting ready to go to the gym. 
So maybe I'll run into him. 잘생겼어요. 어, 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 감사합니다. 어. 그쪽도 잘생겼는데요. 아 진짜요? 아, 예. 혹시 사진 같이 찍을래요? 아, 사진이요? 아, 예. 네. <웃음> 한 번만 찍어. 에이, 이거, 이거, 이거. 감사합니다. 좋아요. God, I wish I had more queer South Asian friends. Oh, I actually know a place where a lot of them hang out. No, wait, what's it called? The closet. Hi, welcome back to How to Train Your Bestie into Getting Over Their Idiot Ex Boyfriend. Today we have Kayla. Again. If your bestie chooses to act like a feral thought and go back to him, she needs to be treated like one. How long am I supposed to keep this on for? I can't see anything. Yeah, you can't see any of your mistakes either, so keep it on, bitch. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta play a game with them to make them get over their ex. Every time you say his name, you gotta take a shot. Okay. No, no, Jeff always said I was special. Shot. Oh my God, this looks just like Jeff's house. Shit. And just like that, his name will taste like a hangover. Ugh. And if she really can't get over him, just make her fall in love with you. 